11. The water tank installation. The water tank is next. First, place the water tank rack. Unwrap the support deck, but don't remove the mesh of the pump. Place the coolant pump first, then the support deck with the unit facing the front. Filter boxes and the water box with the hole facing the front. Lastly, place the water pump. Fill the large container with water and lubricant, and the small container with pure water. Always use these two boxes together. Place the water tank in the table. Shall we connect the cables? Connect the fitting to the water hose. Push it all the way in. Connect number one cable to number one port. Find number two cable of the water pump. The cable should be placed behind the drawer bar. Otherwise, the cable will get caught when opening and closing the drawer. Connect number two cable to number two port. Connect the transparent hose to the water pump. Push it all the way in. Fix these two hoses with the mouth. Twelve. Organizing the milling machine. The table setting is done. Let's open the milling machine. Remove the red bracket as described in the instructions. There's a red bracket in the milling machine. It fixes the Z-axis during transportation. Remove all red brackets before turning on. Unscrew the top first by using number 4 hex key wrench. There are two bolts under here. Remove the bracket by unscrewing the bolts. Take out sponges holding the Z-axis. Remove tapes attached to bolts to prevent the A-axis from moving. Remove these tapes as well. Remove the monitor protection. 13. What's in the drawer? Let me open the drawer. There are a tear wrench, a screwdriver, and screws. Use the screws accordingly. It's a pre-mill original jig. It's a glass ceramic jig. It's a zirconia C-type jig. Lastly, it's an O-type jig. A calibration block is mounted in the O-type jig. Proceed with calibration as it is. 14. Turning on the milling machine. Shall we turn on the milling machine? Take out the power cable from the small accessory box and connect it at the back of the machine. After plugging it to an outlet, switch on the button. You must release the emergency stop button before turning on the machine. Turn the emergency stop button clockwise slightly and lift it up. Let's finally turn on the milling machine. I'm hearing the fan running. Motion app is automatically executed. Turning on the power switch button starts everything automatically, so just wait for it. 15. Motion app. Motion app is on. Click the power button to connect the PC and the machine. This message on the screen is the checklist. The checklist is, check the tool number in the spindle. Check coolant level and concentration level. Check chip collector filters. Always verify the checklist before operating the machine. The machine starts home motion after clicking OK.
Do not open the door while the machine is running. Do not press any other button as well. Here's the water gun. Remove the plastic wrap. Keep the water gun locked at all time. Lock it counterclockwise. Stick it on the side of the machine. The milling machine installation is complete. 16. Calibration. After installation, you should calibrate the machine. Close the door for auto calibration. Press auto calibration and clean holder. Then clean the inside of the holder. Clean the holder with a dry cloth. Always keep the holder dust free before performing calibration. The calibration tool is in the cleaning kit which is located in the drawer. Take out the calibration tool. Press insert calibration tool, then return, open, and close are activated in the order. Press open and mount the calibration tool. Stick the magnet to the spindle body. Close the door and press start auto calibration. Calibration has now begun. It takes about 10 minutes. Calibration is complete. After calibration is over, there are calibration difference values. What is the calibration tolerance? It is set as less than 0.02 before delivery. You may use it right away with less than 0.02 values. If it goes over 0.02, proceed with calibration. The values are around 0.002 to 0.004. I can tell you that these are very good values. However, the Z-axis may be 0.05 in winter. Don't worry too much about it. Proceed with auto calibration again. Shall we remove the calibration tool now? Pressing Remove Calibration Tool activates Open. Open the door. Then, press Open and remove the calibration tool. Press Close to close the collet and close the door. Lastly, press Save to finish the auto calibration. We have looked over how to install Craft 5X. If you have any questions, please let us know. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>